Yo guys, welcome back to another video. This is a rea reaction that I I don't know, it wasn't actually suggested, it's probably been suggested in a few videos here and there, but I saw this pop up on my YouTube feed and I sort of just thought to myself, this could be a really interesting reaction. I put a poll on my YouTube community tab and I think it was like 87%, there's like 13,000 people voted and I think it was like 87% voted for yes. Again, there was still a lot of people who didn't want me to react to it, but and in the comments I also saw that people saying if it's like a reality TV show or reality TV type sort of video, don't watch it because it's not going to sort of be real. This says, well, it's, the title is UK and US Families Swap Lives Culture Clash Documentary, Real Life, Real Stories. And because it says documentary, I assume it's going to be 90% real. Again, there's probably going to be things here or there that are maybe staged and stuff. I don't really know. But, and again, I also know these sort of videos, they don't like depict everyone from the UK or from the US but it is like a sort of good gauge of how someone from the UK will find the US for the first time or someone from the US will find the UK for the first time and again I don't fully 100% know if these are completely like just natural and it's not staged or not but it will still be interesting to see certain things right but if this doesn't go down well I won't do more reactions to this style of sort of video it's going to be a long one it's 43 minutes long Nearly 44 minutes long, should I say. But yeah, let's just get into this again. If you want more of these sort of reactions, let me know. that I know there are a few more out there. I want to do the sort of the real ones. Maybe if I watch this and I realise it's just not very legit, I won't do another one. But maybe if it sort of seems a lot more sort of, again, real, I'll be down to do more. But just let me know what you want in the future. Yeah, let's check this out. Quick shout out to my Instagram and my Twitter. Links in the description for that for those who want to follow. Save my Patreon. The links are all there for those who want to see some Patreon only videos. And yeah, let's just get into this one. Ever since they kicked us out of their... Wait, let's turn this up. Hopefully this doesn't get blocked. Country. Britain has enjoyed a famously special relationship with the USA. Welcome to America! <laughs> the crackers, to be honest, but... <laughs> hey ho. We've embraced Whoa. each other's culture. That's <laughs> exactly. That's a Supported each other's foreign policies. And scoffed each other's cuisine. But do we actually speak the same language? Be refill on fifth mode, huh? Hello. <laughs> In the series, families from across the UK and America will swap lives for a week. This is never ending, this. No, it's not. That's part of And discover what really goes on in their twin towns. There comes a time when you gotta raise the black flag and you start slitting throats. Today's that day. I really hope this is like a proper legit sort of video. Really do. Welcome to Wilmington, North Carolina, a, documentary. a small port city on the USA's southeast coast. Wilmington is a military town with eight army and naval bases in the surrounding area. Oh, but wow. not every resident fits the clean-cut all-American mold. Hey, we're the DM. As they live in the 1900s, we're bro. Unique. Uh, we're big goofballs. <laughs> we like to play around a lot, and we're very busy, but we make the most of the time that we have and do as much as we can. We try not to be the nine to five, run of the grind type family. Down here in the south, it's actually kind of considered the Bible Belt. It, every other building. I've is heard that in previous videos. And Bible it's Belt. literally crammed down your throat. It can be very closed minded, and I'm definitely not a fan of that. Jess and Eric may be unconventional, but they're not alone. And having met others in Wilmington who share their interest, they opened a comic book store specializing in all things esoteric. Out of Tempest Comics, we run comic book store mixed in with modern day aspects of steampunk, uh, gemstones, paranormal photography, modeling, ghost hunting, a radio network. You're listening to the zombie response hour with the one and only. A lot of the social outcast people um, find almost like a safe haven coming here, and that's what ties us all in together. It's we are one big family. Eric and Jess may be authorities on crystals, the paranormal, and zombies, but the British are more of a mystery. I'm so excited Even to see how they compare. They speak the same language. I know a lot of things are differ, done differently sorry. there. You know, from the I know that what UK we call family. cookies, they call biscuits. They like fish and chips. Um, they have a queen fish and chips where we bang, are the way. But I think it's really cool that. Wait, did he say the queen and the pre wait? That's one word. Right? The queen and the. Pre Prime Minister and President. Um, Wait, they have a queen, queen where we have a president. Wait. Maybe I don't even know my own country. Our queen is not po more powerful than our prime minister, is she? <laughs> I should know this stuff. 
I think he's meaning the Prime Minister and the President because they do a lot more similar things. But maybe the Queen is more powerful than the pr Prime Minister. Wait, I'm sorry. This is just me being stupid. Is the Queen... Can't spell. More powerful than the Prime Minister. So it's obviously a highly searched thing. While Queen Elizabeth has more power than most average citizens, the truth is that she is not as powerful as one might think. She has some power. To, okay, so she has the power to sway to certain things, but she's not actually got more power. Okay. Yeah, but I, think I should know really this. Cool that the Queen still will knight people. Um, that, that just rocks right there. Yeah, she may well rock. But where they're headed, Jess and Eric are unlikely to run into Welcome her to the UK, boys. During the 1980s, Wilmington became twinned with Doncaster in South Yorkshire, a former coal mining town that has since reinvented itself as a manufacturing and distribution center. The Wilson family are Donington born and bred and live on a tight knit estate four miles from the city center. A lot of people frown upon where we live because it's, you know. They are typical British. Area. However, as children, a typical all British together, family. We're very, we're very accepting. Everyone talks to you. Nobody thinks they're better than anybody Young else. Family. And I don't believe there's many places left like that anymore. So, I feel quite privileged to have that it all, still. I think it all comes from Pitt when Pitt used to be here. So it is actually a Pitt village, you see. But of course, that generation is now phasing out, and you've got the children who were born then. They're the adults now. But I think they've got it off the parents about how how to treat people. I do leave my door open till all hours at night. If anybody wants anything and they want to borrow something, there's no, let's knock and wait. Everyone just walks in. It's quite open like that. What? Wait, what? Is she just saying? <laughs> wait, what? She's saying she leaves her door open if someone wants to borrow, borrow something. She's alright. Wait, what? Aren't we? That don't mean that people can come round <laughs> and rob me out. The door's open. Right. Leanne what is a off? customer service manager, and Lee's just. I can assure you, not every Brit is like that. I can assure but you the, of that. Well, there's Mark, there's Brits. <laughs> people look at you and you say you have been man, and they look, they look down at you. But you need to try it. To be honest, it's it's a good job. I start early in the morning and I get home for dinner time and I get shout out the bin out there. You get a life. Real legend, mate. So there will be four Wilsons going on this trip to America. Uh, Lee, myself, my daughter Olivia. I want to take this to America. And we have a Bambino on the way. Bambino, is that, is that a kid on the way? I Wilmington will be... Americans. <laughs> will be, yeah, American, very well-to-do, posh, um, Living big houses, all. See, it's kind of her... weird. I would never sort of refer to Americans as posh, but I'm guessing some people's perspectives are Americans are posh, but then a lot of Americans think British people are really posh. So it's just weird how both perspectives go each way. But I don't, I can say one thing I would never really think Americans are posh. I definitely sound posher than. Effect clothes Americans. and they all look the same, and everybody's bothered about what they look like, which is obviously not. What we I'm pausing a lot, honestly. Perfect people. people. Yeah, perfect people. Perfect people. And a rockin' queen dishing out nightclubs. <laughs> With a suitcase full perfect of conversations, <laughs> both families head for the airport. Like, He's got such a British accent, it's hilarious. Like, like, like me, us. yeah. If it's what I, I mean, he is British, but like... Well, I don't know where, I mean, he's from Doncaster. Is Doncaster up north? I think it is. It is quite a northern accent. It's just so out of my comfort zone, and I don't know how comfortable I can be with thinking I've got to like dress up or something stupid. You're putting me on a car bonnet stupid. like that with a machete and trust me, right now, I'd use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Dion's are arriving at the Wilson estate in Doncaster. Yeah, it's a lot different. All these houses look the same. These roads are so small. It's like how people park here and drive. See, look at the difference in neighbors, bro. This is, this is like literally house. a typical neighborhood that I, I would walk through like this, this kind of looking like where housing estates are and stuff. You would never catch this in the US. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm sure from what I've seen on like Google Maps in my own time and like through documentaries, you would never ever see neighborhoods like this. This sort of cramped, sort of small. It's a lot of. Uh, it's so weird how the space is sort of. Closer together, like houses, than I'm 
You see. Yeah. Hopefully the neighbors are nice. I hope so. You, you gotta be there. And the thing is, yeah, I'm pausing a lot. This is probably a bit sort of more spacious than a lot of places. The place that I used to live at, it's closer than this, and the houses are smaller and even closer than this. So it's kind of like it can get a lot more cramped than this as well. This is. Could you please not close the curtains? <laughs> So I, don't know, I don't know. Either they're a very close community or they're very nosy. We can wave to those people. <laughs> Why don't they close the curtains? I'm hoping that they're, they're, they don't mean that we can't close these curtains. Like, if I can understand these decorative wise because yeah. the way it's set up, but these aren't curtains. I just don't know how you could relax if you have. If curtains. somebody's watching you. Yeah, if you have that feeling because literally. Pink. You got pink? Pink. What? I saw the pink robe on the back of the door. You want to wear the pink robe? I'm not wearing the pink robe. <laughs> Almost this whole entire room is pink. Pink wall, pink bed. <laughs> Everything's pink in this house. I'm very disappointed and I wanted a blue room. <laughs> Back in North Carolina, Lee has decided to do the Dion's a favor and cut their grass. But his frantic tugging soon attracts the attention of a curious neighbor. Are you having some trouble there? I am, yeah. Oh, I'm part of the neighborhood watch. You are a new face, and we got to keep track. A sheriff said, make Get acquainted with your neighbors and know who's here. Villa. Yes. Look at the These young punks, they're caught cruising for a bruising, and they're going to get it. My husband gave me a one for a wedding present. Well, a gun? Yes. Way back 48 years ago. And also, he, he built a black powder gun <laughs> for me. And he just bought a pistol for me when we took these class. Because he's sick, he might not be able to defend me. Have you ever used a gun, then? Have you ever used one? A few times. Have you? Are you allowed to use weapons, then? I mean, over, no, over, in, over in England, you, you, you're not really allowed to have I weapons know whatsoever. That, and you know? we don't want that to happen here. But are you allowed to use... Uh, if you used it, if you used a weapon, would you get into trouble for using it? Uh, they passed a bill, I'm thinking, that y your house is your castle and yeah. you have the right to defend it. Yeah. God gave us life. And if we don't think it's worth anything, mm. then yeah, let, let somebody kill us. Yeah. But no, our life is worth fighting for it is yeah you, and you we're are. going to protect <laughs> ourselves <laughs> i heard that on the radio the other day i don't get it it's uh it's un unreal if it's like that around here i know what they're talking the topic but this sh i've just noticed the woman's teeth aren't great even his teeth aren't great this does not help the stereotype look at their teeth <laughs> i shouldn't even be pointing this out but i know people are obviously going to be thinking about that but the perspectives of um of her, like what her perspective again. Maybe she came there because it's just part of the show and that's just how they plan it. But still, like the perspectives, it's just crazy. Like I don't think I'd ever, I'd ever meet someone with that kind of sort of view in the UK, which does show just the huge cultural differences. I mean, I guess a lot of people in the US also don't have this perspective, but a lot of people also do. So it's just it is strange. And for him, I can sort of take his point of view. Like he's just kind of like. God damn, I've never experienced anything like this before. Well, thanks, Chloe. Nice meeting you anyway. All right, love. Thank you. But I don't see you, mate. Everyone seems to be polite and everything, you know. It's... I look at her up there. She's like, uh, someone who you see who goes to bingo on that on a Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. never gone. You know, in front door. And But I suppose you can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Having just life. swapped lives with the Dion family from North Carolina, the Wilsons from Doncaster suspect they may have bitten off more than they can chew. Yeah, when we um, we got looking at that house and we saw these pictures, one way to describe it were like, I'd say disturbing. 
But today the Wilsons have been invited to a welcome barbecue by the Dion's friends, where surely nothing sinister can be going on. This would be really interesting. Oh my god. To mark the Brits' arrival, friends and colleagues from the Dion's comic book store have put on their Sunday best. That one's Ashley. Batman is Ashley. Iris is Wonder Woman. The vampire is Jess. We're a bunch of nerds that love each other. I think the funnest part is being able to be someone you're not every day. You know, every, you know, anytime, anytime you dress up, we, we have a persona. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm Helen outside of this, and I'm, and I'm in a business world, but when I get to come to the shop and somebody different, I can play around, I can be 12 again. You don't have to care. Yeah. Back home, I would never have dreamt of hanging around with, you know, the sort of people that do this sort of thing. However, she's just like me. She has a day job and, yeah, the, the normal, as we were expecting, they are actually normal. You do have the costumes. That, like, this one is more toned down. They are actually. Compared, no, I'm sorry. Compared to, compared to the raunchy crazy oh ones that I've seen. Really? Yes. Yeah. We like to hold ourselves to a higher standard. I'm just really, really glad that it's nothing dodgy. That's, that's all. And what does dodgy mean? What, sir? Uh, your wife said uh, we don't do nothing dodgy. Dodgy mean uh, we don't do a, what's like... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing like that. Yeah. Okay. Noted. Reassured that nothing dodgy is going on, Lee and his new associates start setting the world to rights. And that's one of the things that you guys got going great over there. Yeah. Because over here it's like if it you comes go out of our pocket. If you go to yeah. the hospital and you're yeah. injured or sick or whatever, they'll take care of you <laughs> and they'll fix you. And then they send you the bill. Right. And then they come knocking on your door. My friend yeah. got And then they turn around the bill collectors. So say you went to hospital and then wow, that's crazy. you broke your leg. My friend got his blood drawn, for example. For example, he had to pay five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. To get his blood drawn with no insurance. Or if like if I have an asthma attack. I have to go Wait, blood drawn, is that like a um, blood test? I'm guessing that's like a blood test, right? If that's the case, that's wild. Hospital? It costs like around that much just to have a breathing treatment done. But I don't have insurance. Say I'm walking down here and somebody accidentally shot me or something like that. I've been all <laughs> in a lot of trouble because <laughs> like I, said, <laughs> I don't have any People talk about our national health service and say how bad it is. To be honest, I will, I will, I will never diss our health service again. I don't think. Mm. Thank God for the NHS, man. Brilliant. Could be it. Could be a better bunch of people, to be honest. He's, they uh, seem to like it, though, friendly. honestly. It's always asking if you're fine. I've learned so much about the culture when I first come in and saw them. I thought, I'll be honest, I thought. Not somebody who I'd, you know, probably even probably talk to, you know. And I'm sorry for being ignorant in that way, but I've spoken to him and just spot on. When the Dion family from Wilmington right, so arrived from Wilson it looks. in Doncaster, they weren't sure if the neighbours were nosy or if it was just a very close-knit community. Happily, it's the latter. Hello. Hi. I'm going to feel that one. That's for you, Aiden. Today's about how a community builds together and pulls together and just showing what Sunday afternoon should be like in Doncaster. Despite the warmth of the welcome, Jess is a little hesitant about describing her unorthodox career to complete strangers. What sort of things do you do then? What are you into? Um, we have the comic book store, and on the side, I have a paranormal investigation group. Where, wow. yeah, that's kind of. I mean, it doesn't pay, so it's more more hobby. So you go and investigate. Mm -hmm. Have you got the proper meters? Where you? Right. Do you have things like that? Yeah. Yes. That's fantastic. So you want to? Yeah. Do you want to be spooked while you're over here in England? Smell it. Please. Tomorrow night. Smell it. <laughs> at Christmas Hall. We'll have to go. Really? There. We'll have to go. I was scared to to come to the the party today. I was worried because I didn't know if they were going to accept us, but we instantly felt like we were. Welcome. Yeah. Eric will be doing Lee Wilson's job while he's living in Doncaster. I really don't want to be stuck in a cubicle inside all day. If there's something new I can experience, that's, that's the life for me. 
Eric's in luck. So he's doing his job. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, literally swapping lives. Being a bin man might not be glamorous, but um, at least the jokes are solid gold. So first thing we do on a di daily defect sheet, we bend down and we see if there's any obvious leaks on the floor. Would you, would you want to do that? Just around this point here, like, and that, so... <laughs> 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 Dad jokes aside, it seems leaks aren't the only thing the modern bin man needs to be on the lookout for. You'll have to kick this one before you move it, just to make sure there's no uh, nobody in it. People in sleeping. One. Yeah, sleeping them. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Jesus. I can't. I, I can't. I can't <laughs> see people sleeping bin. <laughs> they have a bevy, especially around Christmas time, and that they have a bevy and they just crawl Sorry, in. Sorry, if, if I have a bev around Christmas time, I'm not crawling into a bin. No. Um, I, might, I might not be crawling into my own bed, but I, you know, I'm not Welcome to the a UK bin. into a bin. <laughs> Who's doing Hello? that then? What I'll the say fuck? this. Normally, if you would have caught me seven years ago, I wouldn't be able to deal with the smell, but having a, my son and changing diapers and stuff all the time, right. that primed me up for just about any smell. I hate flies. The experience that I've had today has been uh, something else. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Lee and what he does compared to what I do. You know, I handle my comic books, the radio station and stuff inside. So my, my hat's off to, to Lee for what he does on, on a daily basis, you know? You know, I can feel the fly on the other mate. That's it, that's not it. Back in Wilmington, Lee and Leanne are about to take over the running of the Dion's comic book store for the first time. This is interesting. It smells horrible. Oh. It smells funny. Because of comics, it's all old. Some of these comics will be old, aren't they? Probably older than us. Wow, they've got crisps. The shop doesn't only cater to comic book connoisseurs, it also does a nice line in New Age crystals, charms, and potions. You left me an outlook. These are my gems and rocks. They each have different ways to heal and enhance. But you don't tell me what they're supposed to do. Hey, Dusty. How you doing? Where's Jess? I'm the new Jess. You're the new Jess. I'm the new Jess. Cool. My name's Leanne. Nice to meet you. Leanne, I'm Dusty. This is kind of weird. You're a perfect stranger. Um, no, don't worry. Uh, I don't, I don't really know how to go about saying it. Um, okay. About a month and a half ago, my fiance left me. Um, so I'm kind of going through a little bit of a rough spot right now. I'm looking for something to, not necessarily like a, a love potion or anything like that. Um, but tell me the relationship you mean. Maybe not so much the relationship as much as my my insecurities and like the issues that I'm dealing with personally. I felt such a big responsibility because I actually realized I was taking it seriously and that I was supposed to take it seriously. You know, I've lost a lot of pride and faith in myself. I feel like I'm okay. not as attractive to women is what I should be, you know, somebody that I was with for five years just up and decides she doesn't love me anymore and kind of hurts. Okay, so obviously I've never actually done anything with this before. <laughs> yeah, I, if you want to do a little bit of research and... I can read up some more on it proper and you come back and I'll see what I can have put together for you and take great, it's up to you really. But like I say, it's a little bit, it's still new to me, so I want to make sure it's right for you, because I want to do a good job like Jess would do for you if she was here, so. I completely understand. I must admit, I think I'm really grateful that people aren't like that back here. You don't go and tell some stranger how you feel. Um, I would struggle if that's what we were like back here. I'm here all day, so you can pop back in a little while, and I promise you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get on with that for you. Thank you ever so much. Do thank appreciate it. All right, nice thank to meet you again. All right, thank you, and you. Well. All right, thank you, Justin. All right, and we'll see what I can do for you. So At lost. first glance, former coal mining town Doncaster is unlikely to win many beauty contests. But Jess and Eric Dion from Wilmington, North Carolina, are discovering that Doncaster isn't such an ugly duckling after all. It's beautiful. Wow. You can so, still see the city from right there. Yeah. It's, it just looks down on everything. This is actually quite nice to be fair. 
you see for miles. Wow. And I, we don't have something like that back home where we're at to be able to just sit and just overlook the city. It's amazing. I could sit up here all day. I always had a big respect for England, but this takes things to a whole new level. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. But not everywhere in Doncaster is so tranquil. <laughs> Cusworth Hall is a grade one listed country pile that's allegedly haunted by noisy spirits. When they're back in Wilmington, the Dion's run a ghost hunting service, so they're keen to investigate. We set up our equipment with uh, video and audio and other meters and stuff, and we see if we can prove or disprove anything. As well as their new neighbors, Jess and Eric have brought along some high tech ghost busting equipment including a modified laptop, which they believe allows them to communicate with spirits. Good evening. Hi. And welcome to Custer Hall. Yeah, this is one of the most active rooms that we've ever seen. This is the hearse room, yeah. So we're really excited to show you this room. Arriving in the hearse room, the Dion's break out their special laptop. It has a 501 word bank to it. It's designed to take the temperature and the EMF mm -hmm. yeah. create a formula that equals a word, and the different combinations equal different words. The talkative ghosts allegedly cause fluctuations in temperature and electrical fields. The laptop should detect such fluctuations and translate them into English. You want to ask something and hit enter? Um, if you're in this room, whereabouts are you in the room? Horrible. Horrible. Going off in the Would back. you like to play billiards? Surface. Two. 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 See, this is two just fake. Take that. Yeah. No. You guys want to try and switch rooms? Yeah, would you like to try the uh, school room? We've had some really good active times in there from chalk being thrown to the school bell actually just being pinged while we're being mm. there. You up for that? That would be nice. You up for that, guys? Throw some chalk at us. We won't mind. <laughs> With the laptop remaining tight-lipped and no chalk flying, Eric and Jess try scanning the FM radio band for ghostly voices. Somebody trying to say something. So, Pete, did, did you used to live in this house? Or did you work here? Village? Is this a voice from beyond the grave? Is it the local minicab office? What village? It's the local minicab office. But nothing seems to dampen these Ghostbusters spirits. <laughs> uh, I'm very glad that we came here. But I would give for a week of this in itself. Yeah, I'd have to take it in short increments. I just, I don't, I don't go out in cases a lot like Jess. Jess can handle this stuff. Uh, the reason why What's I don't your first go, case in a year. Yeah, it's my first case in over a year, and it's, the reason is, is I don't. What is that? In Wilmington, North Carolina, Leanne Wilson is hard at work concocting a love potion that will make her client irresistible to the fairer sex. Um. St. John's Wort, Golden Seal, Russian Sage. That's it, that's what I wanted. Strand. Don't ever put too many herbs in it, you know. Oh, shite. Oh, God, that doesn't smell good at all. Oh, he's got to wear that as well. Mm. After you went away, I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> now, can't guarantee what this is going to do. <laughs> However, I know what it should do. Okay, so, okay. this is a potion. So, and give it a try uh, for me. Dab it on your wrist okay. and then apparently on your, on your chest. On, on my chest? Yeah. Shirt like, up. Yeah, skin visual. chest? Yeah, no. get rubbed on. And don't forget right. to get your stones in your pocket and all that. <laughs> my stones in get my pocket. Get your stones in your pocket. That's it. All right. 
Well, I stink now, but yeah, yeah it'd be fine. Hopefully it's gonna work. It will work. The potion itself is kind of slimy. It was a little bit of a stink. Uh, not something I'm really used to. I feel like I'm walking around marinating like chicken. Um, but you know, it from what she told me, uh, Leanne, uh, I think that uh, it's gonna work out well. So before I was came out here. I didn't know anything about stones, I don't know anything about potions, and if you ask me do I believe in it, I'd probably say no, but maybe the proof's in his pudding kind of a thing for me. Is that the saying, proof's in his pudding? <laughs> Back in Doncaster, the Dion's are on the school run. Five oh, they're at the school. Spending the day at the local primary I'd be interested in seeing what the difference is, like how schools look, because I feel like a lot of UK schools look like this, like my primary school looked like this, my high school looked a lot bigger than this. But they're all quite old school. I just have the feeling in my head that a lot of US schools are like a lot more modern looking, but I don't know why. Maybe I'm just sort of thinking that. Maybe because of like sort of shows that I've seen in the past and then I'll sort of show like a school and it just looks a lot more sort of modern, but maybe that's just a show I watch. I don't know. But do 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 like UK schools look a lot different to the US the red carpet. I hope they show the you um the UK family in the US going to the US school as well. Good morning and welcome to Woodlands Primary School. Thank you. Eric. Eric, yes. Yes. It's really good for the school and Doncaster that we've got a family from our twin town. And I think that's a really positive statement. It can only benefit children to learn about what's going on in other countries, about the culture. Who can tell me why they think twin towning or having a twin town might be a good thing? Um to see how other people live. Oh, very good. Do you have a pet? Oh, do you have a pet? I used to. We had to give her away to someone else because she kept on jumping over the... Why is he got sandals on the floor? Why is he got sandals on at school? Wait, what? I know there's no uniform in the... Like, there's no school uniforms in the US. But sandals? Can you literally wear anything you want when you go to school in the US? Because I'm kind of like... I've never seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> That has killed me. <laughs> it gave my children the opportunity to learn from a peer, to listen to a child speaking in a different accent, talking about his town, and they were engrossed. And these are places in Wilmington. So Unfortunately for the children at Woodlands, visitors from the USA are a rarity. In 2009, Doncaster Council controversially severed official links with Wilmington. And it's been left to campaigners like Peter Brindley and Colin Jaynes to keep the twinning tradition alive. It's not about... I just want to see... Norwich... Twin... C... Um, Rao... don't know any of them. Um, US... US Twin C. So we don't have one in the US. Okay. Damn, that would have been cool to see that buff. Our generation, tripping backwards and forwards, using public money or whatever, mm. it's about changing the perspectives of our children. I think that them, that if this were to be brought back, it would bring them more of an understanding and they would have, an, like we have had, a chance to experience different cultures. Yeah. I mean, you ought to try and see if you can get to see them there while you're here, you know. He's an ex-school teacher. Well, Maybe he would listen to an American to kid from Wilmington saying that this is a good idea. It's worth trying for. Good, yeah, good. Colin Peter, they made me feel really important because usually in America, you know, my opinion doesn't really matter, but it seems they listen to, to people my age more here. That young Mikkel, she's really talented little individual. She's the kind of person who might be able I to do. make a difference. Because with, she's got uh, with brain, Premier. which is articulate with it. If people my age have a say in this, this is a place I'd like to be. Later that evening, Jess leaves Eric and the kids at home and heads out for a big night in with her new neighbors. <laughs> they, they like their drinks and and having the beer and, and I don't drink much, but I'm I'm up for it tonight. I think I can handle it. Just in England. What's the most of American boys? Yeah. <laughs> They're all obnoxious. Did I mention Prince Harry? <laughs> <laughs> now that's the man you need to take to America. <laughs>
They're not very accepting of anything that's considered new age. Yes. In the north of Scotland, where my family are from originally, it's very, very, very similar. It's quite a strict Christian upbringing. So I got it. Be somewhere, yeah. Yes. So I completely understand that that sort of thing would be quite rare. Yes. And this was a, this was a really, really pleasant surprise that there are people I have in common with. It's a group of people that welcome people. They don't shut people out, which is so different than Wilmington. Um, you don't see that half as much. In Wilmington, Lee is receiving his first lesson in cryptozoology. <coughs> Younger enthusiast Big Rick and the enigmatic turtle man. Would there be crocodiles or alligators in these waters? I'm guessing maybe not, but I'd be scared because if there's even any chance of anything like that, I am not getting and this water. taking him in search of the mythical Cape Fear lizard. Has anyone ever caught one? Though? No, there hasn't been one caught yet. That's why, so that's like why a, I still call it a cryptid. Is it like a myth? Yeah, like yeah. a myth. And you guys come out to see if it's actually... Can yeah, see if it actually does exist. Does exist, yeah. Right. Uh, uh -huh. And every year, like last year alone, there's over 300 creatures that were discovered that previous to that point were considered cryptids. It's like a really big thing. One day they believe that they're going to see this this monster, so... <laughs> it's at the crackers, to be honest, but... <laughs> hey ho, you know, we'll go and... Uh, we'll go search for it. <laughs> well, at least see some turtles. There you Not go. Much. Oh, Jesus Christ. Watch out for those, those legs, they'll try to push you away too. That's nice. You want to touch its, touch its foot back here? Not really, no. No? Okay. That's these me. Like, I'd be too scared. Really, these won't really hurt. No. But uh, if, we, if you come across like the, uh, is it the Cape, Cape Fear Lizard? Cape Fear Lizard, would, what, what would that, would no. that cause damage? If, if that animal got a hold of you, they have one thin row of sharp teeth, but you're talking about like, paper thin razor sharp teeth and when they bite it's just like the 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 monitor lizards and just like an alligator they go into a death roll type of motion which means they roll over and over and over again so they rip that flesh and tear it off as they can get it out so if we saw one today what would you do i'm gonna go for the head okay once i have that secure i'm gonna have you guys i would like for you to go for the tail and you go on the body you know like that. to actually get involved like, yes sir if you don't absolutely. mind this is a three-man job. We're going. We're going to get this lizard. <laughs> the into comic saying that it's fair enough. That's one thing. But then monsters and lizards. No one's ever seen it. It's just a myth. And <laughs> then what? Go out looking for it on a Wednesday night. <laughs> now a lot of people say. But I am not doing that myself. No way. Oh. 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 What the fuck was that? Some little creature like that is snapping your fingers off. Like, what? Go out looking for it on a Wednesday night. Now, a lot of people say that you can't tame these animals. Oh! Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I told you, it doesn't hurt. If this turtle's mom were around, it would probably it? try to eat him. Yeah, try to, like, I... <laughs> 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 That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, man. Dude, <laughs> that was great. Good job. And then at last, <laughs> a breakthrough. What's this one right here? This looks like a lizard. Oh, now that's lizard tracks. That actually, that's big enough to be either the Cape Fear or it could be a small gator, maybe some huge, huge <laughs> Cuban anoles. So there is gators sure. in there, though. Could these possibly be the tracks of the mythical Cape Fear lizard? No. But Dan and Big Rick want to seal the area off and preserve them just in case. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. He is not used to this environment. <laughs> With the precious tracks destroyed and dusk falling, the crack team of monster hunters decide to call it a day. There's absolutely crackers. They are, no. You know, they're, they have fun doing it, that so. Well <laughs> done to them. While they're out here, they're not spending money, are they, so. You know, but there's, I don't think there's any monsters out here. In Doncaster, 12 year old Mikhail Dior. The difference is this is on crazy. To convince the mayor it's crazy. that he should re establish official twinning links with her hometown. Today, my goal is to 
get a petition signed to bring back the Twin Town Inc. and to show the mayor. What I'm getting from this so far is just a lot of Americans, again, not all, but some Americans are just. <laughs> don't give a damn. They're batshit crazy. They just live their lives to the fullest, man. And then you've got this, like, in Doncaster, you've got, like, they're just trying to keep the twin cities alive kind of thing. It's just like. <laughs> they're out hunting for this. Like this animal, this creature that's never actually been found in like going in waters where like gators are, like these lizards and whatever, so and so. <laughs> She's just writing up a little essay for the fucking mayor. It's just so weird the differences. I, I love it, but it's just crazy. How important this is to the community. Um, excuse me. Would you like to sign a petition for awareness of the budget cuts from Twin Towning? Eric and Jess are familiar with their daughter's tenacious desire to right injustice. Yeah, you would never catch me doing this. Kids no way. If she gets behind something and it's something important to her, there, there's no stopping her. And what is a shock is that in Doncaster, she actually stands a chance of being listened to. That she would be able to make a difference is a very big deal to her. But it's very difficult in the States. They don't, they don't listen very well. That's when kids. It, no. Yeah. Why shouldn't we be passionate about twinning? Twinning is a thing worth doing. Would you like to sign our petition, please? Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Thanks. Children need to grow up this is... in a global society. We don't we don't want children who are little Englanders. We're going to see the mayor and this is so try and bring weird. this back. When the virus is now around, I'm just expecting everyone to have to wear like masks and stuff. It's so weird. Over in Wilmington, Lee and Leanne Wilson have been roped into a very different campaign. They're taking part in a promotional photo shoot for the comic book store, dressed as their superhero alter egos. I'm not comfortable doing it, but at the end of the day, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing we're doing, so might as well just get on with it and, you know, it's important to them guys, so... Don't know why you're shy about getting dressed up. I'm not shy. What now? That's what I'm saying. I'll do it bedroom for you. <laughs> we're not ready this time. Yeah, we're all ready. <gasps> no way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lee, you look like some sort of... That's awesome! Like... <laughs> Actually. Does it make me look fat? So what what's your what's your superhero name? Uh Gold Member. <laughs> Gold what? <laughs> what is this awkward pause? He's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Mikkel and her band of twin town freedom fighters are marching on Doncaster, armed with their petition. Arriving at the mansion house, the demonstrators make it clear that in Doncaster, the expression, children should be seen and not heard, does what not the apply. Fuck? I'm very proud of everyone, and I'm very proud of Bro, myself. I would preach so hard if I saw that. Attention and starting to make a change. Make friends, not break friends. Bring twinning back! We're trying to make <laughs> End it now! <laughs> Just end it now! We are children, we have a voice. Cutting twinning was not our choice. What do we want? We want twinning! When do we want to eat town? What do you want? It's for the mayor. For the mayor? Yes. And regarding town twinning? Yes. I got a petition signed. I wanted to see the mayor, but I couldn't. We felt really strongly about this, so we made banners and got flags. And We're not going to stop them before we get to the town. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll make sure he gets this tomorrow. What do we want? We want swimming. What do we want it now? What do we want? We want the mayor himself declined an invitation to be interviewed on this program, but Leanne's petition has been taken under consideration. Yeah. And everyone, like, actually cares about this, and they're listening to what we have to say because we have a voice. Seeing that drive in them, that passion, that excitement, that, that purpose. You know, everybody's always looking for a purpose. Sometimes we may take for granted, and seeing it come out today was over the top. Well, 
Park being photographed in their drawers is no big deal, but for the pregnant Leanne, it's a different matter. I just didn't think it was going to be that big. I don't like it. I feel so like uncomfortable. Just a bit overwhelmed by it all. A fancy dress party here. <laughs> I'm crying, cringing so much. If I'm going to go out dressed up, which I would, I'd choose something a little bit more appropriate. But them girls wanted me in something that they would wear and at the end of the day I'm all right there preaching about cultures and you should accept people for what they are and then I stand there and refuse to do something. You guys have a, <laughs> Americans act on proper all the time. <laughs> it were hard, it was. It took a lot of guts to do that and courage. All right. All right, now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and have a picture with her. I'm honest, I've come to do this and I will. I'm going to do it. <laughs> no, right, yeah. Unless I right. take part of it, yet. Yeah. Let's go, Captain. See, so he seems to be enjoying it a lot. He seems to really be enjoying it. All right, guys, family. I found it a little bit more overwhelming than I expected it to be. But at the end of the day, I came here to do their thing, and it was only right that I had a go. So I'm really glad I did it. Yeah, I don't regret one bit. So yeah, I'm really glad I put my count. <laughs> it was like a weirdo, didn't it? Like a proper gimp. <laughs> It's the Wilsons' last day in Wilmington, and their new friends have arranged a little send-off. Um, this oh is for God. you guys to take home with you. But I wanted to present it to you since uh, this is kind of like our little family, and you came into our into our house and joined our family. So we want you to take it home and remember all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Cracking set of people. Really good. I've made friends for life, really. When we first got in, I put my nose up a little bit. You know, when I saw them and I found out what they did, but but I apologise for that. You know, it's it's an hobby to them at the end of the day, and that's what they like doing. I like going out for a game of golf, <laughs> even for it. a stoker pool with lads. Uh, he is drinking. massive, by the way, like tall. They don't like and that. Just they don't like having a drink. I need a comic, so if that's what they want to do, then that's what they want to do. No, but honestly, guys, thank you very much. And I was saying earlier, I thought it was really important that I'm really glad you all came. You know, you started off his journey, and it's nice that we've ended it with you all. So thank you ever so much. Thank all you. Right. Leanne came to Wilmington expecting to meet perfect people, but it seems, even in America, nobody's perfect. People, nothing like, nothing like expected. Oh. They were down to earth. They were no different to me or my next door neighbour. You know, they were large women, little women that chose to even just dress up and they were so proud and confident. And if anything, I think I envied that a little bit because I wished I could be like that. Back in Doncaster, the Dion's departure is causing a few tears to be shed on the Wilson's estate. I never expected to feel how I feel. You know, I just thought, you know, there are going to be people that are coming and going. Exactly how I thought. But no. They're great people, great friends now. I just hope they stay in touch. There'll be no. more. Oh my There'll gosh, I haven't seen Daddy crying forever. <laughs> the Wilsons have a good lifestyle. Uh, I think the biggest commodity <laughs> that they have is their friends. <laughs> It even looks good on you. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a town of people like me, rather than a town where I'm on the outside. And I've never felt that before. We got aid in this because we know you're into Transformers. The whole protest thing kind of brought me out of my shell and to talk to people, and to, to speak my mind. Five days has changed me as much as it would have been five years. This is our local paper. Uh oh, with the property guide. I could literally see us coming over here, maybe opening up a comic book shop here in Doncaster. Every single one of you, you have all touched us. Yeah. And who knows, you know, I got a property guy here. <laughs> you never know. We never know what's going to happen. And this I want to thank you all, though, for just, just being great people. Thank you. I do kind of wish they touched more upon, like, um... 
what's the word like more sort of things to do the actual country I guess it was just to do like actual sort of it was culture but it was like the culture sort of based around the family it wasn't that a whole sort of culture of a certain state or a certain country it's just a certain sort of area I guess I don't really know but it was an interesting video honestly I did really enjoy this and again if people want the reaction to part of the, the, another one of these let me know because I'll be definitely definitely I'll definitely be down to do it I don't know if this is going to get blocked because there's a lot of sort of copyrighted music here so I assume maybe it'll get blocked but we'll have to see about that sent the kid to a British primary school and flip flops bless his soul I was done with that song I was like why is he wearing flip flops man I thought they were was going to give him a tip on using the mower laugh then she starts talking about guns great I'm like that neighbourhood watch lady is the worst kind of neighbour you can have so is that actually like a sort of thing that what actually is neighbourhood watch you don't get that in the UK neighbourhood well I can't spell ne wait neighbourhood watch I don't think you get people like this in the UK. Neighborhood people, like people who like watch the neighborhood kind of thing. Maybe you do that, I don't really know. So this Eric Dion with the US family, thank you for sharing and posting this. I've been waiting since 2012 for this to be put out because we never got to see it as it didn't air in the US. The gun, Lady No Clue, who that was, lol. And some stuff was too extreme, but to, but want to say thank you. Say the people we met here were the best in the world and we all keep in touch, everyone's still over the pod. Wait. Wait, is this? One local town is finding a way to get kids engaged with the environment. Wait, is this? Wait, what the hell? Is that him? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. That's kind of wild. Um, the interaction between the gun lady and the northern dad has me creasing. All right, love. Thanks, Gloria. I can't imagine having a neighbor like that. <laughs> Only thing this show is missing is the families meeting each other at the end. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, but it, it is right. When the woman approached the British man mowing the lawn, you could just tell he was thinking, this crazy talk doesn't stand in England. He just wanted to run when she said gun. The neighbourhood watch lady is such a basic representation of America that it makes me cringe. That's what I mean. A lot of people aren't like that. That's why I sort of thought maybe if this is staged, it is just sort of staged to make it sort of you feel a certain way. And again, a lot of people don't have that perspective. A lot of people do. But it's still interesting to see the sort of differences. Because his reaction would sort of be my reaction. I'd be like, whoa, I have never, ever sort of experienced anything like this before. But it is. It's still something that, I guess, makes you understand how different countries do things. But hopefully it wasn't taken too badly. Because again, I know, this, I know this wasn't for everyone. But yeah, suggest some more things like this if you want them. Maybe this will be the last reaction to this kind of stuff. Because again, people may not enjoy it. And yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.